It's another edition of the Trading Tips video newsletter, teaching you how to become a successful trader in less than five minutes per week. The video newsletter is brought to you by TradingTips.com. Welcome to this TradingTips.com video newsletter on Stoke RSI, the oscillator that applies mathematical stochastics to relative strength index values instead of stock prices. In this video, you learn how to use and interpret Stoke RSI so you can make better informed trades. Let's get started. First, a brief review of RSI and stochastics on their own. We covered RSI in episode 10 of the TradingTips.com video newsletter and stochastics in episode 13. So please feel free to review these episodes if necessary. But in brief, RSI is a momentum oscillator that compares the magnitude of a stock's gains to the magnitude of its losses over a specific period of time. Stochastics is a momentum oscillator that compares the closing level of the high-low range over a given period of time. Stoke RSI was developed by technical gurus Tushard Shand and Stanley Kroll and explained in their 1994 book, The New Technical Trader. Here are the basics. Stoke RSI measures RSI in relation to its price range over a set period and applies stochastics to RSI instead of price values. The purpose of this statistic is to correct defects in RSI in relation to its overbought oversold signals. More on this in the next slide. The problem with RSI is that a stock's RSI can oscillate between 80 and 20 for extended periods without ever dipping into the overbought or oversold values of 80 plus or less than 20. To correct this, some traders prefuse to use 70 and 30 instead of 80 and 20, but using these values has been shown to be much less accurate. So, a trader sticking to the 80-20 rule might just stay on the sidelines for too long, missing many good trades. Stoke RSI corrects this by increasing sensitivity and generating more, and more accurate, buy-sell signals. Stoke RSI measures the value of RSI relative to its high-low range over a set number of periods. The number of periods used to calculate Stoke RSI is transferred to RSI in the formula. For example, a 14-day Stoke RSI would use the current value of 14-day RSI and the 14-day high-low range for 14-day RSI. The formula for Stoke RSI is RSI minus lowest low RSI divided by highest high RSI minus lowest low RSI. Make sure you use the proper order of operations. I've also included some sample Stoke RSI values on this slide. This slide features an example of a stock's 14-day Stoke RSI values based on the highest highs and lowest lows. Briefly study these values so you can get the gist of how Stoke RSI works, and then we'll be ready to move on to interpretation. The first thing to consider when interpreting Stoke RSI is the duration of the time period under consideration, as this correlates to whether or not it can be considered a long-term or short-term indicator. Using a 14-day time period, for example, would make Stoke RSI a short-term indicator using a 200-day time period would make it a long-term one. Next, what does Stoke RSI mean? Well, stocks with values of 0.8 or higher are considered overbought and due for a correction. This is a sell signal. And conversely, stocks with values of 0.2 or less are considered oversold and due for a rebound, making it a buy signal. After all the calculations, Stoke RSI is pretty easy to interpret. Here's an example of a stock chart with a Stoke RSI underlay. Take a moment to look at what the stock's price did at the points it became overbought or oversold on the Stoke RSI graph below the price chart. This is a pretty accurate indicator, wouldn't you say? And of course, using Stoke RSI is easy with StockCharts.com. You can even use more than one Stoke RSI to look for crossovers. And StockCharts.com also offers a host of advanced features too. Next slide. We hope you've enjoyed this TradingTips.com video newsletter on Stoke RSI. Thanks for watching and good trading. This Trading Tips video newsletter has been brought to you by Manny Backus's First Hour Trading System. Every day there's money to be made in the first hour of stock trading. This is the world of day trading, not for novices, unless you have a system. The First Hour Trading System. Visit firsthourtrading.com now and sign up for a free 30-day trial. You could make enough in the first hour of your day to take the rest of the day off. Do you want to view more Trading Tips videos? Visit TradingTips.com. Sign up for our free video newsletters. Become a successful trader by visiting TradingTips.com.